So I'm excited to actually be sitting and talking with you. Are you sitting on the floor? Me too. too? I am not on the floor. I'm in my bed. Oh, I am in, oh yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I was like, I'm, I was either on the bed because I'm at home right now or on the floor. So I was like, I'll just sit on the floor. But I'm oh, so well, glad we, that you got to hang out. Yeah. So, okay. Your tour officially kicking off, what, next week? Next week, um, I mean, we're starting rehearsals on Sunday, but I think that we're, the first show's the third. Okay. In Illinois, and then we go to Nashville, and yeah. Yeah, but you've been doing, like, what, college campuses, or you've been stopping by some campuses, is that what I saw? I, yeah, I really have done so many shows this year. Like, I did a tour with Dylan Francis, that was January and February, and then I did a bunch of colleges in March and April. I toured with Suicide Boys and uh, Limp Biscuit. Mm -hmm. after that. And then I went to Europe for a month. And then I came back and I've done probably 20 college shows this fall. I just got back like yesterday from Maine. And I have five days to hang out now. But then, we, then we're doing like 30 shows. Well, there you go. At least you can sleep you in know. your own bed for a couple of days and then be on the road again. Which, yeah. <laughs> and the five days feels cra crazy to me it feels so long it's so yeah. like it's huge for me just five Good. days so mm -hmm. we are very excited in orlando for the show yes it's in tampa it's only a short drive away i don't know if you know like the difference like it's not that far oh i do have Absolutely. you been to central florida tampa a lot a decent bit yep 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 i've done a lot of shows in orlando and tampa and i've hung out there as well i got friends out there so yeah i spent a okay. lot of time so I what we are doing is actually supplying the transportation to and from Orlando to Tampa. So these people are going to be either on like a party bus or whatever it is on the way to go see you. Amazing. I know. And I'm like, I made sure because I talked to my boss earlier. I'm like, I just need to make sure that these people are going to be getting back safely because you know that they're going to be drinking there on the way and all that stuff. So it's a really cool giveaway that we have. And both awesome. these shows are sold out. Yeah, they were some of the first ones to sell out. Yeah, those Tampa ones. They, uh, I did the same venue, uh, Janice Live. It's an amazing venue outdoors. I love that place. I did it a couple of years ago, and a lot of the lightning players came, and it, oh, it was so fun. I think this yeah. one will be really crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so we're actually really excited for this giveaway. And I know there's, like, so many people that know you because of, I don't want to say, like, social media and TikTok and all that stuff, but, like, I didn't know – all about you until I scrolled like through like to the bottom of your Instagram and you've had such a journey. I love watching it. Um, including going to Martha's. Thank you. Yes. How was absolutely. that? Awesome. I, uh, no, yeah, I've, I've, a lot of people are just, it happens every time I have a hit, which is like every like year, there'll be like some song that pops off and a lot of people will discover me for the first time, but I've been rapping for six years. Mr. Clean dropped uh, in 2017. Um, anyways, I made a song called Martha Stewart because it just kind of fit my brand and it made sense. And then she, someone on her team heard it, showed her, she loved it. And then she was like, yo, let's do a commercial campaign. So so we did a whole campaign together that was playing in movie theaters for her one of her frozen products. It was awesome. And then, yeah, we've gone on some dates. We've like, I brought her to a bat mitzvah with me. It's uh, me and Martha are tight. Stop it. Now, okay. Um, is she too old for you? Is she? No. What's her? Okay. That's what I was going to ask not. you. And it's so funny because I told my friends that I was going to be talking to you and they're like, just ask him his age. Like, is there a limit for you? Or is there not a limit for the age? I think that, that for me, for me, the limit would probably be a little over 60 because my mom's 66 and i think that if i was with a woman that was close to her age she'd get uncomfortable if she found out about it you know just a weird like maybe protective thing i don't know so <laughs> so unless it's martha stewart maybe i should say like you got to be either 10 years younger or 10 years older than my mom and then you can it checks out you know so there you go, there you go. So, so the window well, yeah 55 to 75 sorry but if you're <laughs> above or below I love You're it. You're welcome. Um, now I wanted to ask you about these lucid dreams. I heard is that is that like a real thing? I think I did see. I think I talked about it once on like a podcast. Someone made like an article about it, but uh, 
but yeah, I mean, I lucid dream a lot and, and I had a friend that I, him and I tried to start doing it together. Uh, and then he ended up getting like night terrors. That was oh. horrible. And I just started doing it all the time. I love so it. I love it. Um, so you posted Selena Gomez going on tour with you. What was no. that? Okay. Cause somebody sent me we, that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, so, so this happened once another time actually with Sofia Vergara, but, but we had, I just, I, I took a mirror selfie. Yeah. Maybe don't want to take a mirror. We were like, all right, we got to promote our tour, but if we just post a flyer, like it's not that exciting. So like, all right, let's both take a mirror selfie and then we'll have someone combine it. So it looks like we're in the same mirror. And then I was like, you know what? Why not just add Selena Gomez too? <laughs> so like someone just made an edit of three different photos and put us all in there. And then I, I to me, it looks really fake, but I guess it does. People it does. just don't. That's why yeah, people like, believed it. There is no way that she's, I mean, that would be really cool and like so all over the place, but I think it would be interesting. It'd be a weird, that. yeah, it'd be a weird combo, but, <laughs> right. but yeah. So yeah, what yeah. are you most excited about for this tour? Obviously it's, it's going to be huge. You're basically sold out in every city that you're going to. Yes. I'm excited. Cause uh, it's the first time that the baby no money and I have toured together in like almost three years we did. He used to open for me a lot and then he really blew up and now we're co-headlining mm -hmm. and we have a lot of music together and we got like, I've I've done you know theatrics and and interesting you know cinematic stuff with my shows before, but we 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 took the time to make it a lot more intricate. And there's like a story, and we have little animations and transitions and all this cool stuff with the lights. It's going to be a lot more of a show show than nice. than what I've done in the past. It's nice. going to be awesome. Um, and how do you plan on traveling through this tour? Like, do you have a bus? Are you flying? Like, what's your deal? We got, um, we have two, 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 we each have our own tour bus. Um, I think the crew is like seven people on my bus, nine on his bus. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have a 18 wheeler with all the production and merch and stuff. Kind of like what I did with Dylan. It's a lot of, it's just a little caravan, three, three of us. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's cozy. I love I love tour bus traveling. When I when I do college shows, I'm like flying two flights a day. Yeah, it's like these small towns, and then driving. It's the tour bus is so nice. I love it. Little mobile right. home. What are your meet and greets like? Oh, I'll do whatever. Uh, okay. I've done. Yeah, my my meet and greets are. Yeah, I think a lot more interactive and friendly than than most. Uh, you know, we'll we'll. Uh, sign you know come up as a group or a single whatever you want and and you know we take a picture however you want i'll sign something i like I, I like to learn a little bit about people so i give them a little more time i think than most mean greets do uh and we'll just you know talk for a little while uh i've done some weird definitely done some weird stuff in mean greets Sweet. uh right because our listeners are going to be so for that um, but we're really, really hot. excited for you and your music and your tour and all your success. But, so, I mean, we're giving away, like I said, transportation to and from Orlando, the VIP experience where they're going to get like a pre-show experience as well. Yep. So, mm -hmm. The listeners are going to be super yeah. hooked up and stoked for, for this. Those will, those will be dope. So for the, for the pre-show experience, what we're going to do is it's an early entry thing and we're kind of just going to do something different and like secret almost every day where we're like we're probably i mean we're gonna tell people to turn the phones off you know and get mad if you take them out but but i don't know play play a music video that's unreleased or perform a song do something special for everybody and it's gonna be different every day so that that'll be a lot of fun oh great well like i said we're so excited mm -hmm. and thank you for talking to me i was joking with my boss because i was like is it because I'm a mom? Like you want me to talk to him because I'm because I'm a mom too, and he likes moms. <laughs> but we're You're a mom. I am, mom? and I was okay. like, oh, I think I'm too young for him, though. That's why I asked the age gap too. But no, yeah, it's all good. I, I date women my age or younger. Or I'm just older, kidding. You know? I'm it's just open. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, cool. Amen. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you, and we're so excited. Thank you, Republic Records, and we wish you nothing but success on this tour. Thank you. Great to meet you. Nice to meet Shout you. To Orlando.